What goes on, guys? We're back here again with another review. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Toys, the original superheroes, 85th anniversary, The Phantom, The Ghost Who Walks. Now, I already have the other Phantom from the Defenders of the Earth line, but I'm going to leave that in that display. And I'm just going to use this one as my Phantom figure. Um, I like the Phantom so much that I'm going to have two different versions of him, one with my random comic book characters and then one with my Defenders of the Earth set. I'm not going to be getting... The comic book Flash Gordon, Ming, I don't need those. They're they're cool looking and they look, you know, they look nice, but I don't really need them. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on those. But the Phantom, the Ghost Who Walks, I needed to get two versions of. Plus, I want one here at my college dorm and I packed up my other Phantom. So unfortunately, no comparison, but I did want to take a closer look at this one real fast. Taking a look at the packaging here. I really do like the style that they did, especially like this art of the Phantom in the front. You get the Phantom there, 85th anniversary, you know, you get to see the fig, all the accessories. I like this uh, King features, that's really cool. This is the first figure, uh, the original superheroes, which is a new line by them, which is really cool. Um, I hope we get to see some other characters in this too, like just besides like Defenders of the Earth repaints. You get to see the Phantom here on the side. You get across all the Defenders of the Earth. We're still waiting on Ming and Lothar, which is kind of weird because these were revealed way after these guys. Yet these ones came way before. Like, we haven't even gotten an update on these, which is really strange. So hopefully we're still getting those. I mean, I'm assuming we are if they're back here. But, you know, whatever. You get to see across cell the other two figures in the series, which, again, I will not be getting. I just don't need them. 85th anniversary. Love this photography here. This looks really sick. I did not know he has glow-in-the-dark eyes. That is super cool. So I'm very excited about that. The Phantom on the side, number one, the original superheroes. A little bit of window. Here's a barcode if you're looking for it. It is a Walmart exclusive, I believe. Actually, no, I don't think it is, but it's hitting Walmart now. So, you know, do what you please with that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open the first superhero up. So, taking the Phantom out, this is a lot better than the other one. <laughs> Not only do I enjoy the accessories more, I like that he looks more classic. And the articulation is smoother. There's no paint chip on this one. A big issue with the other one was the joints for some reason were all purple, even if they were in black or skin tone spots, which I thought was really stupid and not something I would expect a company, let alone NECA, to do. So they really fixed that. All the joints are smooth. There's no paint chippage at all because for the most part, Everything's molded. I mean, everyone now, uh, I mean, obviously the stripes are painted, you get the details that are painted, but for the most part, everything is molded on this, which is really, really cool. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the head sculpt here. This is a complete mold reuse, except for one part, which we'll show in a second, but the head is a not a new sculpt at all. You get the sides that come in there. I really like the way that that looks. I think that's a great head sculpt for the Phantom. Um, painted cleanly. A little bit of scar, like a little bit of a extra paint right there, but none of them were super clean. I did get to see a lot of these on the peg at Walmart, so I had my like cream of the crop pick. Um, you do get body shading like around the entire thing. Um, so you get like the, the darker purple. I like this color of purple better for him too. Uh, I like the darker color. It's more classic inspired. You get the golden or the, the silver ring painted on there, which looks really cool on each hand. You get his, his rings sculpted very nicely, which I like that. I'm a big fan of the rings. Now, the one new sculpted thing that's on here is the, uh, is the belt here. Like I said, the belt is newly sculpted because you get like the holsters on it, which are really cool. You get a little bit of silver, like the little silver skulls on each side. So you get the dual building holster. I love the stripes on the pants. Super classic. Goes all the way around. I think that looks awesome. The legs have a little bit of shading in them. Nothing too crazy. I, um, I think they could have went a little bit heavier on the shading overall, to be completely honest. But, you know, that could just be me. And then you just get the black boots, which had never, no paint chippage neither because, like I said... All the joints are molded the correct color this time. Now, my belt is like just off skew by just a tad. And it kind of throws off the look of the figure a little bit. Like this side needs to be pulled down a little bit. to like right there. But it like won't stay. Which is kind of irksome. I might put a little dab of glue in there. I'm not really sure right yet. But, you know, it's not that big a deal. But he does come with a lot more accessories than the first one. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So like I said, he does come with a lot more. You're going to get a open hand with the ring sculpted on there, which looks cool. This is to hold the skull, which is awesome. You might be able to interchange it. It does have a peg hole in there. I can't get the head off of that, and I don't want to ruin that, so I'm not really worried about that. But the skull is articulated. The mandible opens, or the, excuse me, the jaw. Um, but it is painted really nice. That looks super, super well done. You get, like, all the cranial 
rivets in there because if you don't know when you're born um your skull isn't together and then these are like the fuses of it so like when the soft spot on a baby's head is where they all join together i don't know scientists have to mention that stuff you get a big crack in the cranium which probably didn't feel too nice you're missing a couple teeth this is awesome this is a really cool accessory especially for the phantom to have um he has a grip hand which is used to hold his whip and whoa this is awesome. I've never had this before. So he has the, the handing, the holding hand here. You get the um, ring sculpted on there. And then you get a little bit of silver with the skull on top of the whip, which looks nice. You get the loop at the bottom there. And then you get the, the whip itself. This is a bendy wire. How awesome is that? This is a bendy wire. So you can do anything you want to do with this. And it holds damn near perfect that is awesome i have never seen that on an action figure and it goes pretty tight like that's a good wire like really really awesome i'm probably not going to use this for him i might give this to beast man for my motu collection this is really really cool but as cool as that is it's not my favorite thing i like the phantom with a good set of pistols and you get the trigger finger hands and the guns to do so so you get his sculpted guns with the skulls on the side and then the trigger finger hands with the ring sculpted on so you pop them in there boop a doop a doop um if i can get that in there unfortunately they are not hinged hands and then you pop these on just be a little bit careful i'm not really worried about it i was playing with it and you know he relatively comes apart like the hands come out pretty easy so there's nothing really to worry about there but you know with NECA figures it's always good to be cautious if something doesn't feel like it's moving don't force it heat it up or just not fuck with it but you get the pistols for him which look awesome I'm very happy that they gave him the guns um it's definitely what I think of when I see the phantom is dual wielding pistols I'm actually surprised that it well they give him that weird laser gun for the first release, which is okay. And then not only do you get the guns, but you get new effect pieces to go on the ends of them. So there is a certain way that they have to go. But once you plug it on, boom, bang, bang, bang. That is awesome. I really like the way that that looks. You get that yellow translucent uh, shot effect and you get two of them. So you can have him dual wielding that shit, which I'm totally a fan of if my hands weren't so freaking shaky but you know that's nothing new so these look awesome i'm a big fan of him having the dual wielding guns i just wish that the hands were um what do you call it vertically hinged instead of horizontally hinged but he does have really cool articulation too so let's go ahead and take a peek at that so as for the phantom's articulation the head's gonna move up down side to side rotate 360 shoulders move outwards that far that'll go down rotate around 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist swivel and all hinge horizontally again wish we got a vertical hinge for the gripping hands and the trigger finger hands he's actually going to crunch forward really far um it's a little weird because i don't like when you can see through the figure and sometimes you can that bothers me a little bit um nothing too bad he'll arch back where it's that far um you get you can see the hinge in there a little bit when you move him forward i don't remember the first one doing that but no big deal for me at all it's in the back so he can do pretty much full splits he's gonna kick forward all the way looks good at every angle back a little bit too thigh cut mcfarland take notes uh double jointed knees that go all the way back calf swivel and then the ankles move down up pivot and toe hinge again all the joints on this are incredibly smooth they work good but they're not like loose at all this is the best way to articulate a figure in my opinion anyway um smooth joints that you don't have to worry about breaking but they're also not loose to the touch so he can hold up his own weight i like that a lot i think they really outdone themselves in the regard of improvement from the last one in that so as mentioned at the beginning of the video, I don't have the first edition of this with me to compare it to. I do have it, but I just don't have it with me. Um, but here he is next to Zombie Cap. He's not too tall, to be honest. Like, I picture, fan I mean, obviously, he could be a little bit smaller to fit in six-inch scale. But, you know, honestly, you could probably fudge that if you really want the Phantom in your... Um, marvel display he'll probably work good in dc multiverse too he might be a little short for that line so he's like that good in between but that could just be me personally i also kind of picture the phantom a little bit bigger but you know 
your mileage will vary on what you think about that. So, you know, just keep in mind he is a seven inch scale figure, but he could work. You might just have to fudge it a little bit. So the last thing that I'm going to show off for this guy is, as mentioned on the box, he does have a glow in the dark feature. So there was a little bit of a surprise with this, which was pretty cool. But let's go ahead and take a look at that. Three, two, one. Yes. Now that is awesome. So unfortunately, it looks like I got glow in the dark paint slop. I think that's a new one because it's supposed to just be the skull which you can see right there, but the eyes do glow in the dark very, very well. It holds its glow for a while. It looks really good in person and on camera. So this is an awesome, awesome feature to have. Not too many glow in the dark action figures. You know, sometimes it's really not worth it, but you know, I thought that was pretty cool detail. So you're probably wondering and asking yourself, yo, Ant, what are you thinking of this figure? And I gotta say, guys, it's pretty awesome. It is way better than I expected, and I definitely think that it's an improvement over the first release of this guy. I like the color better. I like the paint apps better with the pants. Um, the accessories are awesome. This whip is freaking amazing. The guns with the accessories for the guns, the little skull, all the different hands. Totally, totally a better release for the Phantom. The articulation being as smooth and as tight as it is at the same time. Really NECA. Yet again, no surprise here, outdid themselves. Again, say it once, said it a million times, NECA is my favorite toy company, and it's because of shit like this. I love it. All it makes me wish for is that Lothar and Mandrake the Magi Magician, ooh, kind of knocked over my roof station there, Mandrake the Magician come out sooner. We need them. It's time to get them on the shelves. This guy's going to go on my classic superhero shelf, or just one-off character shelf, whereas my other one will stay with my Defenders of the Earth set. But I believe that's all I have for today. So if you have not already, please do yourself the favor and me and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated when you do so. Also, be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post a lot on there. I have a lot of funny videos up on TikTok. So definitely go check that out. I would really like to build a good following on there. Um, you know, so we could do lives and shit on there. That would be a lot of fun. But that's all I got for today. So as always, let me know. You copping? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.